sing you this song. Doug's going to teach you the song. And I want everyone to get up and hug someone. Just hug each other and tell them, we're glad to be here. All right, Doug, let them know. So glad I'm here. Mm-hmm. 
It's not public property, it's private property. But I hope that one day the state owns Ego's Landing. Please do not film us. You think I can't see you, but I can. All right. Let's, okay, you got to sing it now. Let them have it, though. Listen. Oh, freedom. Listen at the word. In my 
demonstrate the beating of the right. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah! You know, I, I'm looking around this while I'm doing I was looking around and just looking around. My mind went back uh, to a uh, song that was written by the night gears. Oh, look at the people. Look at the people. So what they doing? They're standing at the judgment. man. Yeah. They have to be tried. And I just looked around and said, oh, look at the people. They're standing here watching, ready to watch the rise beat the demonstration. We're going to begin, as I said, this part with the rice demonstrating how the slaves had to beat rice from the stalk by hand as a way of getting ready to eat. Because they was not allowed to eat rice but once a week, and that was on a Sunday. I also eat biscuits on a Sunday. And in this, on the coast here, the people love to eat rice, especially when it's cooked with peas. Peas and rice cooked together, they love that. It. It's called what? Hop and John. Hop and John, that's right. Who knows why it was called Hop and John? <laughs> Who knows why it was called Hop and John? Jasper knows because Jasper, stand up Jasper, let him see you. This is Jasper Bond, is his brother here from Maryland? Where is he here? There he is. These two young men, relative was a slave and were brought right here and when slavery was abolished they gave the land to their relative and that is their relative name was Neptune Small. What's the name of this car? Neptune Park. This whole plantation was given to him and that's why this park today is named Neptune Park. Thank you. got a chance to beat the rice and have rice, even though the master may give it to them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day, they would give it to them. They were not allowed to eat it, but they was glad that they were going to have some rice on Sunday. And they was happy. And everything that they do, they would make a cold and uh, act it out and just be happy about what's happening. And when they would beat the rice out, they would take the rice from the rice fields and they would lay it on a sheet, a canvas like this, so that they could beat the rain from the stalks. Which, when they beat the rain from the stalks, something like this, now this, you see that this is over 200 years old, and it's good and solid. I would like to be with with this, because it is really hard. And they will take it and put, see how it's made there? The reason that's there for the flexive part of it, when they hit the rise, it bounces up two or three times as it hit your nose when I begin to beat the rice. This is what they use, and they call this a frail bar. After they will beat the grain from the stalks, then they will use the fanner. This is the fanner of what they will fan the rice with. They will take it and put the rice on this fanner, and they will fan the rice. And if they will be fanning the rice, they will be singing a song. The ladies will always fan the rice. After they will get through fanning the rice, they will sing a song about I'm going to fan this rice, I'm going to fan it clean, and they will say, blow, Tony, blow. Let me hear you say that. Blow, Tony, blow. And that's your part. Everyone around there singing because they know that they're going to have some peas and rice on a Sunday. And at the end when they say, blow, Tony, blow, Tony, blow, what you do? I want someone to do what? Whistle. Okay, let me hear that whistle. They say when the whistle blow like that, a cool breeze will come along, load it, shaft away from the rice, and also give them a cool breeze also, kind of cool them off. After they will take it and put it, fan it, they will put it in a, and this is what you call a mortar. They fuel it out, kind of slant, so that the rice will be beaten in there to get the first husk off the rice. They will use what you call a pretzel. As you notice, this is a kind of square. This is the one that they use first to beat the first roughness off the rice. And as they were beating the rice, they would be singing another song that said, peas, peas, peas and rice, peas and rice, peas and rice, done, done, all shucks. When they would say, all shucks, the ladies, they would spin around on their heels or whatever, saying, all shucks, because they're going to be, they're happy that they're going to have 
Christ on Sunday. Then after they were taking the van in that time, they would put it back into the mortar. Then they would turn the other end around, go to the shopper end, and that puts quite Mr. the rice. Then it's ready for the pot. And they would sing it, and they would do it like this. Now I want you to hold this. Now can't some of you all hear me? Yeah. sing a song as they beat the rice. And one of the famous songs that they loved to sing was, I'm on my way.
years ago, those people had to work from sun up to sundown. And if they needed to go to someone's house to visit with them, they didn't have AT&T and GTE and Southern Bell to call and say, may I come over or I'm coming over. So when they would walk, no doubt, to their house, they would be eating dinner. And they didn't have education like you all have today to say, come in and have some. When they would walk in, they would tell the person who walked into their house, hop in and join.